so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters... And that's going to get into the corner. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Wasting no time. He's now two for two now but on the night. Hitter. And just a really? triple and home I'm run done. away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Next is the designated hitter, Willie Adamas. On the ground to the left. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Hernandez quickly throws it in. They hold him at third base, and now the bases are loaded. Went up there now looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. There was nothing Andrew. cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Now the batter now, Andrew Vaughn. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins, doubled in his first A.B. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Adios, pelota! That'll fire up the dugout. They are unloading here their fifth homer of the inning, and they boost their lead. It's 15-0. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Singy, I hope you saw it because it didn't stay in the air for long. No, it didn't, Boog. StatCast telling us 110 miles per hour off the bat, and that's plenty to hit one out if you get enough air under it. As a hitter, you hardly feel the ball when you make contact as solid as he did right there. No question about this one. It's out of here. A massive home run is 26th of the year and they add a run it's 16 to nothing he's swinging a red hot bat this isn't the first home run we've seen him hit these last few games and it probably won't be the last back to back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate this is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club P. Fireisen comes on now. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. Hernandez makes the grab for the second out. Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next up for the Marlins. Jazz. Chisholm Jr. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. Ripped on a line to center. Pulls it in in the inning. And it's going to take me the entire break to count all those runs. That was nuts. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. Miami's out in front, 16 to nothing. They've had quite a bit of success against him this year. So one out, nobody on. And up next for Miami, Andrew Vaughn. Swings and sends a rocket to right. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. Looking to bring his hitting streak up to 30 games. Maybe some added pressure on him right here. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. 
And that flips the calendar on his hitting streak. He's now at three straight games with a knock a full month. Yeah, and maybe we're not quite ready to start talking DiMaggio just yet, Boog, but we're not that far off. I mean, you make it to 30 games, you're in rare company, and not many guys have made it that far in the last 50 years. So absolutely congratulations to him. It's been really... That one ripped left field. Adios, Pelota! He sends a rocket to left. Their third home run of the inning, and they add to the lead. It's 13-0. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Two outs, nobody on. And here is Nick Fortes. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. Another one. Back to back homers. His second homer this series, and they add a run. It's 14 0. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I could feel that swing from the booth. Back to back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Back to the top of the lineup. Taylor Trammell, the next up for the Marlins. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And in one hops the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. And here is Nick Gordon. Hayward makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at Chavez Ravine, ready to go, bottom four at the play. James Outman. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. And now it's Gavin Lux. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And that's in there for strike one. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. And Freeman is retired. Two down. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Lead runner around second. Coming home, the relay to the plate. There's the tag, they get him, and that's the inning. One left for L.A., but this one's... We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Joe Kelly. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through. 
the middle of the field. And now it's going to be Jake Berger in the air out towards right center. Calls it in for the out. And there's one down. Now here's the Marlins DH. Willie Adamas. Three for three with a pair of home runs and a single. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. That pitcher's probably thinking he's a little late on that pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up, not give him something off speed that he can handle. Now that's smack to right center. Outfit racing over to make the catch. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Man at first, and now for the Marlins, Andrew Vaughn. There's a swing and a drive, and no one can get there. All right, round second on his way to third. Coming home. The relay throw. He's safe. Well done. Drives in the run. did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice but when you win by double digits something is clicking that batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now but more so the players they can't wait for the next one come back out score and get another w so this one got a little out of hand for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show I'm John Chomby we'll see you soon